happened in the New sure. York Hilton. Go back to the Florida motel room. After Jim Baker was finished with Jessica, do you say she then voluntarily made herself available to you? Yes. Jessica? Sorry, Geraldo. Why didn't I, she scream? I, I, Why didn't she run down the hall and get the police? Why didn't she go down in the John, lobby and get... She'll she be able to respond. Let's take a break. article. This is uh, uh, from the article. They sat on the bed together. That is uh, Fletcher and Jessica. Suddenly, now quoting Fletcher, her arm went around my neck and she grabbed me and kissed me. I said, Jessica, don't spill that wine on me. She said, I need to know there are some real men left. And the next thing, we were under the covers. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Yes, I said that. That's an accurate quote? That's an accurate quote. Jessica? Geraldo, I wish to God he'd rot in hell. Let me tell you something. I am sick and tired of this. This is too much for me with this man. He is lying. My little brother is listening to this. I am fed up with this bull crap with John Fletcher. He wishes somebody did that. His problem is he has never been, had a normal sex life. He doesn't know what love is. He screws everything from animals to old women. He doesn't give a crap. Geraldo, I swear to God, I swear to God, I am telling you the truth. This man is on a promotional tour because he can no longer pass around the offering plate. He can no longer make a living from stealing people's money. Just like Jim Baker, he is a thief. He is a professional liar. And I am fed up with it. I am tired of it. I had lost a family, and I don't give a crap about his family, because he didn't either. I lost a family. I spent Thanksgiving alone. I'll spend Christmas alone. Why? Because of them. This is the last interview I'll do with John Fletcher, because I don't give a crap about this man. I am so sick of fighting this. I'm fighting all these men, and I have a story. My story is true. I'll back it up one million to, uh, percent. And if I'm wrong, then let me be indicted. John Fletcher, you should have hung yourself. I wish you dead. You're a liar. Jessica, I did attempt to hang myself Good. and woke up Good. very disturbed because it didn't work and I was on life support equipment. You're Good. not the only one who has suffered. I've lost everything oh, John, that is dear but you and made that it I treasured in life. John, and you, you know, made it. Jessica, you and I and all these players in this saga are just as guilty one by the other. John, the only let's... thing I can say, I wish you no harm, Jessica. Oh, go I'm to not hell. trying to go be to hell. Go If to you hell. wish her no harm, sir. May I ask why the article? Why these That's graphic, right. explicit, uh, torturously detailed stories of what you did? And she put her hand here, and she did this, and he did that. And you wish her no harm? No, I do not. Do you, do you, do you understand how we can be incredulous about that statement? I understand if you have Do you understand right how? I've tried to stay in the middle here, but do you understand how? you might sit there and appear to me to be an extremely distasteful man. Um, I have a right also, Geraldo, to change. You have no rights, John. I have a right you to change. You have no right. You have no right. This thing you has cost me everything jail. that was precious and dear to me in my life. I'm sorry for it. And I'm not having an axe here to grind with anybody. There is something therapeutic about talking about pain and bad memories. And that's what I'm doing. If it does nothing else, no matter how self-serving it may seem, it gets that which is on the inside of me on the outside. Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. <laughs> they could make a profit on, on, on all of this. Well, I don't know that, that Jessica is out to make a profit. You well, know, she's uh, probably done the best of them all, don't you think? <laughs> Can I say something, please? Go ahead, Jessica. I, I got a job doing radio. Now I'm saying this on national TV. I'll tell you what I make under four hundred dollars a week okay i work till 4 a.m every morning my mid my shift is seven to midnight i did a rock video 22 hours i came home and went to an empty hotel room i work okay i do not pass an offering plate around i am not the issue i was not a preacher okay and that's the point it should not matter if i did a porn movie or if i posed in playboy which i thank god for that I had Playboy, but what I'm saying is I work for a living, okay? If I turned a bad situation into something good, that's my prerogative. But John, you're sitting around and you rate me eight-year 
years ago, and you continue to do so. You know, it's eight years later, only this time I'm fighting back, and I'm not, I'm not hiding it. And if you people out there want to believe him, then I feel sorry for you. I really do. There's something wrong here. You decide. I had a woman call me last night who needed help. Her girls were hurt by a minister. What's going on? Maybe God is using me to be vocal. Sure, I'm controversial. I don't care. I'm not in a popularity contest. But I'll be damned if I let John Fletcher win. I'll be damned because I'm going to rise above it. You're not going to rate me anymore, John, and neither is Jim Baker.